for most of us, the route to Michigan's Upper Peninsula meant I-75, straight north, up the middle of the mitten. The trip started clear and dry, but as we reached the tip of the mitt, snow flurries had started. And by the time we hit the Mackinac Bridge for the five-mile trip across the spot where Lakes Michigan and Huron meet, conditions deteriorated rapidly. There was a travel advisory for the bridge, meaning big vehicles needed an escort. Not so for us in our road trek, but by the time we entered the UP, we could hardly see the toll gate. And for the next hour, it was the same, near white-out conditions caused by falling and blowing lake-effect snow. I couldn't even find where the road lane was until I ran over a rumble strip. That's how I knew where I should keep the vehicle pointed. A half hour from our destination at Tequamanon Falls State Park, the snow had stopped and we could see clearly. The Tequamanon Falls State Park staff welcomed us and had plowed out our camping spots ahead of time for us. Big, spacious lots. I put the drone up to get a shot from the air, and many of us met for the first time in person. There were 15 road treks and 25 of us from as far away as Atlanta, Georgia, ranging in age from 8 to just 71. Most of us met through the blog and the road trekking Facebook group. So what did we do as we winter camped all weekend? Well, we played outside like a bunch of kids in the snow. Saturday's highlight was a snowshoe hike atop the 30 inches of snow that covered the dense forest. No one complained about the weather or the cold. There were nightly campfires, common meals, winter sports, and of course, awesome scenery, especially of the upper falls where the tannin-colored waters of the Tequamanon River tumble over a 50-foot ledge. The spray that creates coats everything in ice. Here are three quick profiles that show the diversity of our group, some of the things we did and how that spirit of adventure so typical of road trekkers bound us together in an instant camaraderie. Hi, my name is Kiki. I'm from Jackson, Michigan, and I love to winter camp in the UP of Michigan. I don't have all the equipment I need, so I kind of made do, and I camp in my Yukon. I have a space heater right there that's plugged in and it keeps me really warm. I added some Reflectix to all my windows, which is an insulating product. It's very inexpensive and it was easy to cut and fit to the windows and it keeps it really warm in here. I sleep on the folded down rear seats and then I store all my stuff right here. I do set up a tent so I can get in there and stand up a little and move around but pretty much everything I need to live is right here in my car. How long have you gone winter camping in something like this? Eight days. Eight days is the longest I've done. And it's pretty cozy in there. It is pretty cozy. It's very comfortable. I have my jet boil for cooking and and eating and I heat water to wash off and I bring some food with me and sometimes I'll unhook and go into town and buy some food and and eat that, but mostly I could survive here for a good week and never have to leave. Hi, I'm Lou Cantor from Farmington Hills, Michigan, here with my dog Edie. We love winter camping, both Edie, myself, and my wife, partially because there are no big crowds, and another reason is there are no bugs. And we just love getting away to the peace and quiet of nature. Cross-country skiing, hiking, seeing some great sights, it's wonderful out here. You know, a lot of people say, it's too cold. Uh, in Michigan, you learn, you layer it up, and you dress for it, and you can go anywhere and do anything. <laughs> Howdy. I'm Jeff from uh, Illinois. Just having a good time up here in the UP, camping out at the No Rules Rally. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I just love it out here. It's just beautiful, and it's actually not very cold. So, so now this is called a fat tire bike. Fat tire bike, yeah, four inch wide tires. You see, it's. And where can't you go with that? Uh, in uh, 30 inches of snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Works great on the on the paved trails a little bit though, so. Yeah. Good so, fun. So you could not ride a regular bike at all up here, but that uh, that works. New. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are looking at all the pictures we've posted on Facebook and all the talking we've doing about road trekking up in the winter time. Um, any difference? Other than the fact, there's no mosquitoes. A little less water to use, but. Yeah. That's not a big deal. I just heat it up on the stove. So, uh, Have you been uncomfortable sleeping or cold, anything? Slept eight hours straight through last night. Hi. We're from Atlanta, Georgia. 
Okay, this is uh, Bru uh, Kirby and Maddie the cat and Tybee who rules the roost. Three animals and the two of you in a Rotec RS Adventures. You're from the Atlanta, Georgia area. Yep. Yes. And this is the first snow you've seen? This is the first real snow I've seen. Atlanta gets like maybe one or two inches here and there, but this is like the first time I've seen this much snow in my life. Now, what prompted you to come up to the middle of Michigan's Upper Peninsula in the wintertime? <laughs> well, this guy named Mike Wendland had a get-together, <laughs> and so we uh, decided we'd actually come. You know, we'd never uh, been in something like this. I'd, I'd been out skiing in Colorado a couple of times, but I'd never actually tried to camp in it. And so, you know, we thought, hey, if we go to Mike's get-together, then there'll be a lot of guys there that understand road treks. If we get in trouble, somebody will know how to help us. And uh, it seemed like a good way to learn how to do it. And so we came on, and so far it's worked out great. We've had a great time. We've been We're snowshoeing. and uh, We've seen the falls, which are just beautiful. We've been down there a couple of times. We, uh, what else did we do? <laughs> it seems like we've done a lot. Just walked around. Yeah. But Kirby loves the snow. You can learn more of the people and what it was like camping in so much cold and snow on the blog and on the podcast. This much we know. We'll be back next year. Same time, same place. Road trekking across North America. I'm Mike Wendland. Thank you for watching.